So Catherine and I decided to do a science experiment, and <laughs> not that kind of experiment. So anyway, we decided to do an experiment about surface tension with a couple of liquids, rubbing alcohol and water. Look at all the tools. Can we use all of them? No. Can we use the gopher? No, the gopher just guards the workbench. But how can we use up all of the crazy we collected from the last experiment? Let's just get working on this experiment, okay? <sighs> okay. So here's our equipment. A bottle of rubbing alcohol. A glass of water. Two cups and two straws. Some modeling clay. And some food coloring. Okay, so we started... Dad, Dad, we forgot Professor Death. Yes, we forgot a pen Catherine likes to call Professor Death. Professor Death helped us with the rough draft of this script. Yes, so anyway... We didn't cover everything yet, Dad. What? The food coloring. We got that already. I like to call them... The Pantry Gnomes. Why do they have to be pantry gnomes? Because they look like pantry gnomes. Let's just get on with the experiment, okay? Okay. So, we took some of the modeling clay and pushed it into the bottom of one of the cups, so it stuck. It really did stick. Then we poured some alcohol into the glass, so it was a little under half full. Then we put food coloring into the alcohol, so you could see it better in the straw. Next, we took one of the straws and stuck it into the modeling clay so it wouldn't fall out later. Since we put the straw in after the alcohol, there was some alcohol stuck in the straw. The alcohol will be imprisoned in the straw of doom! So anyway, next, we flip the glass over. Why? You'll see. After we tipped the glass over, the alcohol that was in the straw fell out. Why is that significant? You'll see. So now it's part two of the experiment. Yes, so we put more clay into the other cup, and Catherine got a little crazy making sure that the clay stayed in the cup. Then we poured in water and pantry gnome brain juices! Does the food coloring have to be called bra pantry gnome brain juices? Yes, yes it does. So after that, we stuck the straw in, made it sure it stuck there, blah, blah, blah. And then we got ready to pour it into the bucket. When we tipped the water glass over, the water in the straw was still there. Cool. Do you know why the water was still there? Because the water molecules are attracted to each other more strongly than the alcohol molecules. And this attraction creates an effect known as surface tension. The surface tension of the water is in the straw is stronger than the pull of gravity, so it stays in the straw. The surface tension of the alcohol is not as strong, so the alcohol falls out. Right. Now, do you think the water would stay put if we flipped a swimming pool over? No, because the weight of the water is more than the surface tension can hold up. But if we filled the pool with straws... Uh, yes, then that might work. So thanks for joining us. See you next time. And watch out for gophers.